I have also used this as my personal planner. Here's my two weeks planning that I did on it, and I did, I did enjoy that. It was, it was good. Here's my planning that I did for my school day. And it couldn't be much easier to make a template for your Remarkable Paper Pro. So this is my two week template here. Essentially, I've just got a page for each day and on the days where I'm at school, then I have boxes for my lessons. And then the last thing I do, I go file, save as Adobe PDF here. And yeah, I save that. And then it's just as simple as going to the Remarkable Cloud app and you can pull that across and well, here you can see it annotated as it is on my Remarkable Paper Pro. I do like this because this is, this is actually going back to the workflow that I did. I started with on the Remarkable One. This was the workflow that I, I used then where I had a PDF of my school week and I just sort of annotated as I went onto that. And you can see I'm also able to essentially just quick notes for my lessons down the side and then back to my planner. This was really, really nice. Making a template is a lot more useful than buying a template. When you make a template, you have to actually think through what you think a kind of standard version of one of these things is going to be. So I do really enjoy making templates. I find that incredibly useful. When you make your own template, you go through that process of thinking. That's incredibly valuable. It's one of the things that I really like to do on the e-ink tablets that I reviewed. So for example, when I first made video reviews and even my original educational content on YouTube, I really thought hard about what those videos should be structured like. And well, I don't even use those templates anymore, but I can tell you a lot of the thinking that went into them and a lot of that thinking goes into every single video that I make. For me, I think if you take your time to plan all the things that you want to do in the week, then they are more likely to happen. I put a few things on my template, such as the anchor that I learned from JB Glossinger, which is just like an idea. I put something there that sort of is my main sort of idea that week, something that's happened that week or is happening that week that makes the whole week stickable in my memory. And then I have little goals for different parts of my life that are important. And at the end, I have a little review and migrate section as well, where I can think, well, what are the things I need to move to next week in my planner? So by me doing that thinking, then I'm thinking through the way I want to act at work and in my professional life. And sure, I've borrowed ideas from other people, but I'm not trying to shoehorn my life into someone else's template.